I was um, raised Christian Orthodox. About 80% of the entire Romanian population is Christian Orthodox. I did grow up very religious. Um, I had creationism taught in my school, along with math and geography and everything else. So I never even questioned it because why should you? These are your teachers and your parents and the authorities you trust in. I think that once I started learning biology in high school is when it started to click and I started having doubts. Um, I also stopped liking my church just because I noticed some corruption, I didn't like the priests, so I tried different churches, just jumping around, trying to find one that I like, I couldn't. So, because I still wanted to be close to God, I still wanted to have that connection, I decided to study the Bible on my own. And that's when it all fell down, <laughs> fell through. When I started making YouTube videos, I was already an atheist and pretty much everyone doubted me, thought this is a phase, you're gonna get over it, you're just doing it for attention or whatever, my friends, my family just didn't believe it. So um, in the Bible, it says that basically God can forgive everything you do, all your sins, if you repent. However, if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you will never be forgiven. That's the only thing that, I mean, you can rape people, murder people, whatever, you, you repent, everything's fine. But if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you will burn. No redemption for you, no matter what you do. So when I started making YouTube videos, there was a blasphemy challenge tag going around where people would blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. And just to prove a point, because if this is just a phase and you're having doubts and you think you may change your mind, you will not do that because you cannot go back from that because you will burn in hell, that's it. So just to show everybody that this is what I feel, this is who I am, I, I did the blasphemy challenge. The movement started to creep into Romania just a little bit. We actually had um, a secular conference last year, which was the first secular conference in the entire Eastern Europe ever done, ever. And it was in Romania and it was in Bucharest. And it was obviously about education and science and um, secular views. And the uh, media called it the gay conference. Why did they call it because gay? people supported gay rights at that conference, so they called it a gay conference because being gay is the most horrible thing a person can be, so it, it's <laughs> the worst insult in the world. I think the most important thing for, for my country is to get creationism the hell out of schools, or at least as an alternative to teach uh, universal religion, like world religions, so people know, okay, this is what some people believe, this is what some people believe. It's not like, okay, this is the reality, this is fact, this is what's the truth. This is how the world was created. So if they did that, um, they, they could learn about religion. I'm not opposed to that at all. Just don't teach it as a fact. So I, I think that's the main thing I think should happen in Romania because it all starts with education. People who are non-religious are a growing demographic. And I think that's because of what we are doing, these conferences and activism, even in online internet activism, I think it, it makes a difference. I, I want when I'm old, and hopefully I'm not dead by now, and the world will be a very different place, and I could say, you know, I was part of that change. <laughs> I think that would be awesome.